Oh my God, I'm gonna have to get out the bug spray or something, Jesus Christ. Every so often I can see it, it's like a little fruit fly. I'm gonna go get my shotgun. Anyway, <laughs> um, I am, ah, gotcha you little fucker. Welcome back to Pavanine Studios Beauty and Art. This is going to be part two of a like all new, not all new, lots of new, <laughs> lots of new makeup. And if you want to see this eye look that I did featuring the Nude Mood palette from ColourPop, I will link that in the description box. I think it's going to be a ColourPop kind of day. So I'm thinking I'm going to try, this is the uh, Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. This is the new one from ColourPop. And I think I'm gonna try the shade Light 55N because I think it's going to be the closest match for me. Although I'm not going anywhere today. It is a Friday and it's pretty late in the day. And so I don't know if this will be like a full on uh, wear test, but I should be able to wear it long enough to update you a little bit in the description box and uh, let you know how how it performed. But I'm going to go ahead and put on some sunscreen because you never know when you might go out. I also, in my recent Ulta haul, picked up the Professional Hydrating Primer. Um, I don't like the original one very much. I just don't, I don't care for the formula. Um, I wanted to try the hydrating one because I'm always all about things that say that they're hydrating. So we're just going to take a little bit of this. I have no idea how much to use. And this is supposed to be a, like a pore blurring type of primer. So we're going to, I am going to focus that on, it smells nice. Not overly fragranced or anything like that, but it doesn't smell, it doesn't smell bad. And we're going to put that right there. And then I'm just going to, whatever's left on my hands here, I'm just going to kind of press and smoosh over the rest of my face. And uh, it doesn't feel as... lotion-y as I thought it might. I was thinking, well, the professional one is quite a moussey, silicone-y feel. And this has a little bit of that. I mean, it definitely has the moussey feel to it. But it's not quite as, I don't know, it's been a while since I used professional, so I, I'm probably just talking out the side of my mouth, but so focused on the problem, problem child areas. I'm not super worried about like covering up every pore. I'm not a fucking mannequin after all. Yeah, I think there's some pore blurring going on there, not tons. It definitely feels, it feels nice. It doesn't feel drying or, or anything like that. So I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. So this is the shade Light 55N. I don't know, that's still pretty light, I think. So I don't have a ton of options for my, for my brush today because they're all uh, dirty. You know what I'm doing this weekend, but I do have my clean Zoeva brush. And what do we think? Yeah, I think it's still too light. I almost got the color 80, 85 or something like that, but, but I didn't. So here we are. And I like putting on most of my foundations with a brush. And so that's, that's what I'm doing here. I typically prefer to just go ahead and use a brush since that's what I like to use and and then I will go over it with a sponge 
Yeah, it's it's a little bit darn it. It's a little bit light. I don't know when or even if this foundation will be in the Ulta Ulta stores. So that was that was too much. I put two pumps on the back of my hand and I think that was too much. I should have just started out with one. I'm going to say it's a good thing I'm wearing a high neck shirt today because yeah, this is a little bit too light. It's not bad and it'll probably be fine in the winter. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and return I may return fair 30N just because if 55N is too light, 30N is also going to be too light. All right, let's see what she's looking like. Does anybody else's nose run, eyes run, things like that when they're trying to do their face? I tell you, it's a it's an ongoing an ongoing battle. So that looks pretty pretty full coverage to me. I'm going to go over this with a sponge, try to lift up some of this because like I say I got a little carried away. So start with a pump. You can always add more. But I just like having too much right off the bat. So I'm just kind of bouncing this over my face to make sure that I get everything pushed into the skin, lifted up where there's maybe a little bit too much. So far, I'm quite liking it. I just wish it was the right color. But I think that it is, it is pretty. It is um, relatively matte. And let's see, does it say that it's matte? It says hydrating, oil-free, vegan, dermatologist tested, hyaluronic acid, coconut water, but it does not say anything about matte, but it looks quite matte to me. I'm still feeling a little bit of tackiness. I'm going to give it a few minutes to set down and if it's still feeling a little bit, a little bit unset, then I will powder a bit with my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Before we do that, so I'm going to do a little bit of a, a cream bronzer and we'll see how that goes over this particular foundation and primer combo. I really need to get into Sephora or order it. I'm not sure. You can't order the, the Fenty um, Cheeks Out blush. I thought you, I mean, you can't go into the store and buy the Fenty Cheeks Out Cream Blush. I thought that they were going to be available in the stores, but when I looked on the Sephora app, it said online exclusive or something like that. So I, uh, I don't know. I really want one of those. Of course, I want the color Fuego, which is the orange one. Don't ask me why I want an orange blush, but I do. But I was also planning on picking up another of the cream bronzers. This is but a biscuit, but I want to try macchiato. I think it's called. And I've been saying that for like two months and I still haven't done it. We'll put a little bit on the side, a little bit down here. So I'm going to use this blush, which I picked up at Ulta and it is the uh, flesh blush and I got it. It was on clearance and uh, I like that how tiny and compact the the uh, packaging is and this is a this is a pretty color I'm not sure it's the best color for this particular look but we're gonna go with it wow that's really whew, easy there cupcake I feel like that goes on okay over the over the cream bronzer and the unset foundation sometimes it's kind of hard to tell mirror versus monitor versus, you know, you think something looks good and then you get in the car or something and you're like, holy shit, that looks like crap. Oh, this is the shade Pulse. I am going to take my powder and I'm going to go ahead and powder my forehead like I usually do. 
and my nose, chin, that kind of thing. And then I'll, I will uh, hopefully be able to, cause I, I don't know. I mean, I like to not powder if I can get away with not powdering, but I don't like to be overly shiny or anything either because I feel like that's not particularly flattering. So I'm just gonna bring this kind of over the that cheek area. Make sure everything's nice and blended together. So I'm gonna use the color Dare to Divulge in the Revolution Highlighter Reloaded. Not everything that Revolution does is good, but these are nice. Yeah, that's pretty. And I'm gonna take that just over my brow, brow bone which is usually what I do as opposed to a dedicated highlight on my brow bone. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with a little bit of um, Fix Plus and kind of set all these powders and things into place. That looks pretty good. I didn't put any concealer on, I just realized that. See, I'm so, I'm not in the habit of it and so unless I think Put your concealer on, Amy. I just, I don't think about it. I'm gonna go finish off the rest of my face, put on some lipstick, finish my lower lash line, and I will come back and give you any other thoughts and we'll kind of we'll kind of check in and see how everything's looking so far. All right, I'll be right back. I am back with the rest of my makeup on. I will go ahead and share what I put on my lips. So I, lined and basically filled in with the NYX lip liner and this is the color Sugar Glass and I went over it with just a little bit of L'Oreal 800 this is Fairest Nude so it's this one and mostly I focused that in the center and then also in the center I went over it with the e.l.f. lip plumping gloss and this is the color pink sugar so pretty pretty combo I like it I'm not usually like a peachy lip kind of girl but I'm kind of liking that my hair is a wild thing today let me tell you like, I took a quick look at my makeup in natural light it's not sunny here in Seattle today but uh, it's at least not pouring rain so that the natural light was was decent and I so far anyway I really I don't know if it's the the primer or or what but I'm really enjoying the way my my skin looks so far I really like this foundation and I'm loving this highlighter that I have on the eyeshadow palette was really really pretty the glitter baby um, from Smith and Cult that I put in the center of my eyes is pretty but I'm gonna have to play around with it a little bit because it seems like a little bit of a of a tricky um, a tricky formula but in general I am liking my look today and I wish I was going somewhere so yeah I think I am going to wrap it up there guys and I will update you on the foundation and anything else if anything else extraordinary happens um, I will put it down in the description or leave a pinned comment or something to that effect so that you guys know how this all wore and everything because like I say it's kind of late so I don't I don't think I'm going to do like a full-on wear test because it would be midnight before I got to take off my makeup and I'm not really all about that so I'm going to take some pictures after this for Instagram let me zoom you in on the eyeballs and the foundation for that matter. So, really pretty. I mean, I really, I like, I like this look a lot. I would wear this again, for sure. Not with gray. <laughs> it's a little strange with gray. I'm not even sure I like this shirt. I mean, I like it, but it's a little <coughs> But, um, I didn't put any earrings on. I should do that. 
I'm gonna go do that. I'll be right back. I'm gonna put on these earrings that I got last summer at the uh, the Indian festival when I was helping my my sister out with um, her booth because she was selling jewelry and uh, oh my god I tell you I wish I wish they were doing it this year and maybe they maybe they will I don't know but I kind of doubt it quarantine and all anyway I picked up these huge earrings and they're so they're amazing and do I ever I mean I'm not, I'm a pretty brave person but do I ever like just think to put these on and I don't know wear them to the grocery store <laughs> Walmart <laughs> I don't but you know so we're gonna put them on for camera cuz why not right anyway they're so pretty they're so pretty and they're huge and I love that if you if you know me at all or have known me like in real life for years you know that the bigger the better that's not exactly maybe it is what I mean I'm kidding okay let's not go there all right you guys I think that is going to do it for this video I'm so happy you joined me today I hope you had fun I had fun I feel like I've been filming for like 150 hours but I'm enjoying my look and um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe if you haven't already and until next time I'll see you in my next video bye guys